Because I'm taking Rizzo. <laughs> Interceptions. Springdale, Connor Hutchinson, 12 touchdowns on the year, three interceptions. Michael Sparks, 17 tackles, 16 assisted, two for loss, uh, two tackles for loss. The Big Bill West uh, offensive line is better than what the Springdale been game also. Okay. We got uh, Conway at North Little Rock. Mm. Uh, North Little Rock's top two running backs uh, are injured, so uh, they don't know if they're coming back for this game, but they will get three key starters back. They get their quarterback, tight end, and a receiver back. North Little Rock is 2-2 two, two and two in the season, and last week they beat Central 35-21. to 21. Mm. Uh, Conway is a solid, well-coached team. Stars, they just play as a, as a unit, and uh, they're coming off a 42 to 21 win over Fort Smith Southside. Conway's only loss is to Benville by seven. Benville's one of the best teams in the state. Conway think they're one of the best teams in the state. I'm taking Conway and an upset by three. It's gonna be tough. You trying to go home? Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <this cat. laughs> uh, Lord Rock, uh, Brandon Thomas, before he have extended his knee last week, nine carries, 138 yards. But no, Little Rock got some grown men out there, man. I got to go with the Charlie Cardinals. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got uh, West Michigan at Cersei. It's going to be a good one. Be a uh, <laughs> Cersei is 4 0 in the season. And last week they passed all over Jacksonville in a 49 14 win. West Memphis, they came back from 17 to beat Rival Marion 42 to 40. West Memphis is 2 2 in the season. I think Cersei is better this year. I'm taking Cersei at home by one. Yeah, Owen McConnell with 47 percent pass and 17 touchdowns. Just look, Brian Hill, Brian Hill should have had that game tonight. Just like you said, Brian Hill should have had that game tonight. Uh, Cersei is better than 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 Cersei is yards, 124 yards per game. People forgetting about They're it. They're forgetting about it. And <laughs> five touchdowns. He's got to go through something like that. The house, I think it's homecoming. Search the lines at the crib. Right. We got PA at Little Rock Christian. This is going to be another Woo. good one. And this could be a state championship preview. Could last, be. Could be. Uh, they played the last year's state championship game with PA winning. Not without, my bad. With uh, Rock Little Christian. Rock Christian winning 53-38. Uh, to 38. Even though PA beat them in a the regular season, 56-14. to 14. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this year PA averages 55 points a game. And their only loss is to nationally ranked Brentwood. And they kept it close. Mm -hmm. um, undefeated Little Rock Christian, they play two quarterbacks, and uh, they're outscoring teams weekly by 40-14. to 14. PA owns the regular season, so I got to go with them, even though Little Rock Christian's at home. I'm taking PA by 10. Little Rock Christian, Alexander Vizi, running back. I went to high school with his uncle and graduated with his mama. Running back, I had to say that because last year she gave me hell for not saying nothing about but Shouts out to Alexander Vizi. But um, – Joe uh, Joe Hyman for uh, PA running back, 37 carries, over 200 yards rushing, 7.9 yards per carry, four touchdowns running the ball. He leads PA in receiving yards, so 49 <laughs> catches, over 400 yards, two touchdowns, man. PA on the road. Got to take him. PA on the road, got to. Got okay. to take him. All right. Uh, Texas County at Camden Fairview. It's homecoming in Camden. And, uh, they're coming off a big Springs Lake. 
Texas County is two and one on the season, and uh, they uh, they've won five of the last eight in this rivalry. Texas County they only got their dual threat quarterback, but I think Camden has the edge at home on homecoming, so I'm taking Camden Fairview by three. Lewis Blackwell last week for uh, Texas County had a 90 yard kickoff turn for a touchdown. Uh, Logan, Ro Logan Robertson uh, sent passes over 600 yards, uh, 600 yards on the season, six touchdowns, five interceptions. I like to play spoiler. Razorbacks gonna spoil their home, come and make it six out of nine. Mm. Texas Arcana. Mm. Yo, we got another big game. Arkadelphia at Joe T. Robinson. The last meeting between these two teams was in the state finals, mm -hmm. and Arkadelphia won 28 0. Y'all, Arkadelphia is coming off a tough loss to Nashville 22 to 21. The Badgers average over 400 yards a game, and they'll depend on their running quarterback. Mm -hmm. Joe T. is undefeated, and they average almost 50 points a game. Brian ain't been right about a lot this year, y'all, but one thing he was right about, he talked about Joe T. Robinson before the season even started. Right a lot. All right. <laughs> so, Joe T. has won the last two regular season games in this series. I think they win this one at home by one. Man, Joe T. It's going to be hard to pick against Joe T. Hunter Smith over 600 yards rushing, uh, seven touchdowns on the season. Buddy Gasson giving them uh, good numbers passing the football over 900 yards passing, 11 touchdowns on the season with three interceptions. I got to go with the state champions. I think they're going to bounce back. This is this, like juveniles. They got about to bounce back. This is a bounce back game. Arkadelphia on the road. I'm picking. All right. We got McGee at Rising. Uh, these two teams combined for 15 state championships. Rising is 3-1, and one, and they stomped over Drew Central last week, 38-0. Mm. to uh, Rising, they don't really shoot themselves in the foot. They play quality ball. They don't turn the ball over. Nope. Uh, disciplined football. Uh, undefeated McGee, they beat Lake Village last week, and they held them to just 34 yards rushing. But they will be missing three starters. I think that's going to be key. I'm taking Ryzen at home by one. McGee is expecting Duke Cunningham to come back this week, so that will help. But Jamari and Fry, 146 yards, three touchdowns last week. Clay Toddy runs a system that has been working for so many years that he's been there. He's one of the, he's one of the generals of uh, high school football here in the state of Arkansas. I got to go with the Rising Wildcats, man. All right. Last game, y'all. Poen at Magnet Cove. We haven't talked about these teams this year. Magnet Cove has won three straight, and last week they whooped England 56-26. to mm. Magnet Cove has a dual-threat quarterback and a running back that is cold. And Byron will talk about them in a second. Poen got their first win in his nine-year history against Conway Christian last week, 32-6. to uh, Poen has an aggressive defense, and they're outscoring teams 120 to 30 to 37 in the second half this season. I'm taking Magnet Cove by one, the MC. You got the MC? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Poen's uh, junior running back, uh, junior quarterback, uh, Jackson Carter, eight, carried the ball eight times for 106 yards and one touchdown. Brandon Sanchez, over 200 yards last week for Poen. Magnet Cove, senior quarterback, uh, Tyler, Tyler Hodge, Nine carries, 255 yards, five touchdowns. This is last week. This ain't no, this is not season. This was last week. Nine carries, 255 yards, and five touchdowns. Then you had Landon Stone with 17 carries, 175 yards, and two touchdowns. I got Magden Cove, and it might be big. MC Hammer. Oh, MC Hammer. <laughs> Magden Cove, wow. I would like to see that game, actually. I, I would like to watch it. It's going to be a good ball game, but wow, Magden Cove. It's going to be good. Y'all, yeah. this has been the Wolves winning pick with Blue Report. What's happening? We appreciate y'all tuning in once again. If we missed the game you want us to talk about, and we apologize last week that we didn't get in the comments and get all the games. I'm going to get on Byron once again. I blame him for that. We will be better about that this week and get all the games. Shout out to Corey and Chris checking us out. Make sure to tune in next week where I will be 8-0 and and Byron will probably be 4-4. Four and four. No. Shout out, to my, shout out to my guy, Mike <laughs> Edwards. He's been telling me about that West Memphis Cersei game for weeks. So we got you, bud. <laughs> All righty. We'll holler at y'all next week.